hi hello viewers so today we're going to see how to create the single page applications so uh, today I uh, took uh, one example uh, how to build a mailbox so uh, with the mailbox I have a, a list of URLs called uh, inbox RQ uh, sent items so blah blah so that I need to build the uh, without uh, loading any page so that uh, I need to handle in a single page so that is what the today's topic even if I am handling all the pages uh, it has to be uh, changed that uh, URL as well so commonly uh, this technique you commonly uh, we can handle by using a hash based navigation technology and the push state to push the URL back to that okay what is a hash based navigation normally the visitor uh, positions in the virtual navigation page it stored the URL in the hash actually so currently if I am visiting the page um, knockout uh, js.index this will be stored in the hash and uh, which is the part of the URL after the hash symbol see uh, what is it will be like a uh, uh, index uh, hash sorry uh, hash in box so this will be like this actually the whatever the part of uh, after the hash symbol this will be stored in the hash and I gave the example like this actually see my app hash category and the shoes on the page whenever the URL has changes the browser does not does not issue the HTTP request to the server actually what it will go and do it will uh, go and uh, add uh, or instead it is like uh, it will be going to merge with the current URL okay and uh, and also it added in the back and uh, forward history in the browser so suppose if you want to go back that will be a redirect to your backward so um, so only uh, it, it will uh, go and insert into the browser URL and whatever the uh, script that you are running it will find after the hash and it will fetch and dynamically uh, the UI get updated through this so okay so how to push the URL uh, by using the push state mechanism in HTTP uh, sorry HTML5 so this is a, a different way to change the current URL so you can uh, uh, by using the push state mechanism you can go and insert into the back and forward third history entries and uh, without triggering the page load you can go and add it so that is what all about uh, the single page application is handling over here so we'll go and go and see this how the things are working so I will go and show you the practically how the things will going to work I go on to add on a script type text or JavaScript. Here I going to add on function mailbox. Okay. Okay. This I going to add in a knockout JS. okay it asking for the v model that is my mailbox okay so I applied uh, in an awkward JS now uh, I going to create a okay I'll create uh, this in instance okay and uh, what I going to do the self dot mm, my folders folders in a sense menus okay I'll keep uh, menus equal to inbox sent items okay draft okay so my uh, folder uh, uh, items are ready now
okay this what I going to do mm, I going to uh, create a menu so let's go on the create ULLI so menu has to be in the order on order list so let it be like this okay so here mm, a data dot bind okay data dot find for each for each complete menu okay I'm asking to for each this and here data bind uh, text data whatever the data I'm receiving okay let me go and refresh the page how the things are coming okay so uh, my menu got uh, coming out uh, inbox sent items draft or that from the okay from uh, uh, knocker.js now on click it has to be redirect to the next page so the things uh, here I going to use the push state mechanism that provided by HTML so how to do that one okay so uh, next thing what we going to do uh, so uh, two things we need to do on um, uh, click uh, it has to uh, uh, move to the particular menu that I building uh, that I am clicking so and uh, and that menu has to be selected in my page actually so on click uh, it has to be moved redirect to that particular menu and plus it has to be in the click stage uh, that means it is selected mode so how to do that one so for that I create ID for all menus so uh, self uh, dot uh, which one like choose an ID choose an ID is equal to co dot absorbable okay and I going to create a one more function mm, okay uh, on click we need to go to the particular menu so for that self uh, dot go to menu here I create one function function will accept the folder Okay, here which ID we need to tell uh, uh, okay so for that choose an ID is a folder okay so so on go to menu <laughs> on uh, go to menu I going to add in the click event so we'll, I'll just show you how to do that click okay so text will define and CSS selected okay CSS uh, on selected if my data equal to the current uh, choose an id choose an i okay my data for this particular uh, list equal to uh, root okay this is a root function it is not in a set data root dot choose an id then go on to add the css sorry css selector and we need to add a click event 
on click okay. root dot go to menu okay okay fine so everything is uh, seems to be ready okay so what I done here so uh, I made uh, two condition here on click uh, it has to go to the particular menu that what I clicked and on click uh, of a go to menu I go and add my choose an ID to be selected so my data will be used with the current uh, chosen ID this is what the uh, root uh, that is what the root actually root means current now data is uh, uh, on the for each in, in the inner loops actually this is a root means the it is a main um, variable actually it's a global variable that it will keep changes so uh, for that you need to represent as a dollar uh, root uh, so it will be uh, considered the root uh, value okay uh, so my uh, root value got changed so then it will be automatically selected okay fine go and check in the UI it is working perfectly or okay okay inbox Any many steps it's not working what was the issue okay we will find out the issue why it is not uh, 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 showing the other menus everything so stay tuned uh, for the part 2 videos we will have a, a little break the part 2 video I added in the description have a break and come and check why this is not happening and we will find the solution and we are going to fix it and we are going to see how the single page application going to work so please stay tuned my the second video. Thanks for watching the video guys.